easiest way I think is to, you know, find an early trend. Don't be uh, risk adverse, like take risks, but you know, calculated risks. Don't, don't take wild risks. Um, time is what your is what your is your friend and your enemy. Like you have to prioritize when you're doing marketing, when you're working on your business, what's the most important thing. Um, and what's the least important and do those first. Twitter should still, you know, be your number one, I think, marketing tool. You have always known how to make money. So tell us, enlighten us about that skill and how to find value. Uh, and I believe money is problems you solve. Money is infinite. The more problems you solve, the more money you get, the more value you give, the that much money you'll get. What, what are your guiding principles on making money? Um, for me, I mean, the, the easiest way, I think, is to, you know, find an early trend um, and catch on to that. Um, but not everybody's good at identifying that. Um, I like to be be aware of what's going on, you know, in like whatever interests you. And like if you want to invest in technology or something or make money in uh, real estate, you know, um, you have to get, you know, really into it, like put your time into it, put your energy into it. And, um, it's like anything else, like you have to work hard, but it's not hard to make money when, if you, if you put the work in, um, and I think believe in yourself too. And, and, and be, uh, you know, like, uh, don't be uh, risk adverse, like, take risks, but, you know, calculated risks. Don't, don't take wild risks. Um, don't risk what you can't, um, uh, like, a, it, like in this space, I spend money that if I, if I lost it, I'll be okay. You can't spend money that will like, you're, you're going to be living on the streets or something. Um, when you're investing in things, uh, yeah. Um, there's, there's a lot of things that go to it, but I think being aware of, of what's going on is, is huge in investing and knowing what you're getting into. That's, that's the way to make money, um, you know, and, and paying attention. Wow. Uh, many points you covered. Now, applying these things from an artist's perspective, what is the risk that artists can take? Um. Well, I mean, you can take the risk of changing, uh, you know, a, a new art style, um, uh, colors, palette, like you can, you can take risks there, um, new marketing, uh, uh, attempts, you know, um, you, you could, there's so many things you can do, um, get into, uh, put, put yourself like in uncomfortable situations, but not too uncomfortable, you know, like get into the spaces, but try to talk, try to speak. Um, there's, uh, those things may be like really new to a lot of people to do. Um, and, uh, talk to people, get into discord and talk to people. Um, like the, there's, there's really nothing to risk. Um, like I said, there's it's such short term memory here, like as an artist, like it, what are you risking your, your reputation? Like, no, you can reputation. Yeah. But <laughs> artists, like, that's the point you guys, like artists are crazy. Like you can experiment. Nobody's going to say anything. You could have a totally different style of art and people will be like, Oh, whatever. They might not buy it. And they'll go back to buying your other stuff. Um, like maybe doing like how additions, you know, maybe trying additions if you want to. Um, I don't really buy additions, but that doesn't mean they don't sell. Um, but like a calculated risk would be like, okay, don't drop open editions every week. Um, you know, like just do it, like make yourself a little more exclusive. Um, things like that. Uh, I think put yourself in challenging, you know, challenge yourself a little bit. Uh, don't be afraid to, don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Like try some tweets, like um, do spaces, host spaces like Chaz, you know, Chaz, Chaz is always in spaces, but he never hosts. And he came to my spaces the other day and I'm like, he's like, yeah, and I'm like, just do it. Don't, don't think about doing it, do it. He's like, well, what if nobody shows up? I'm like, believe me, people will show up. And he had people show up like, yeah, just, uh, try, try, just put a little effort in and, um, that's the best investment you'll make. <laughs> and you know, 
uh, as you are saying, I have also made some observation, and I am doing few things that I want to share with the audience. Um, it's not just NFT market. There's so many other places you can reach out. I just created my Art Station account, uh, which is a whole new community of people who are still not in NFTs but are there in art and art business. Who could maybe uh, you could as establish connections and uh, get your art sold in other ways. And we are risking uh, reputation, right? So you have to take a risk on that. Uh, we have to take risk on that. Second is Reddit. Reddit has many amazing threads and groups and chats that you can discover. And of course, uh, these are the times where we are more accessible to collectors. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kato wouldn't have. Uh, I wouldn't have able been able to reach Kato six months back because he was flooded with DMs and s- all the noise in the space. Uh, so it's easier to reach uh, potential collectors or somebody whom you wouldn't have had a chance to interact with, uh, get to know new people from different markets, not just America, but other places. So you can do that. Uh, build connections in um v- Offline world, onboard new people. So Kato, I didn't, I didn't tell this to you, but I onboarded about hundred college students, uh, who, who I gave a lecture in the college about Web three, and then I onboarded them, uh, gave them their first NFT. So this is something I'm doing through podcasts and videos, and I'll continue to do that. It's I, I really believe in the underlying technology. So these are the things that you can try, guys. Best wishes for that. That idea is great, by the way, what you're doing, um, the onboarding. That's awesome. Um, I, I just wanted to say um, about the uh, time is what, you're, is what you're, is your friend and your enemy. Like, you have to prioritize when you're doing marketing, when you're working on your business. What's the most important thing um, and what's the least important? And do those first. Twitter should still you know, be your number one, I think, marketing tool. And then as you have time, stay off of TikTok and those things, you know, like Instagram reels, all that shit that wastes time and take that time and go, um, you know, and, and, and try these other platforms, you know, list on multiple platforms or you're saying like um, in the, uh, the physical art world, whatever, all that stuff is great. Yeah. Okay. But absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of galleries also coming in. I've never got a chance to showcase work around the world in such a short time. Uh, that was wonderful. And Ketu, I organized a Beijing exhibition, which was hugely successful. So uh, the update on that oh, as cool. well. Uh, I'll be putting out a video on how on the movie after movie on that and I'll, I'll share it with uh, all of you. Stay tuned.